Oh, shit. Hey, what's up? I didn't see you there. Um, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about how I almost got on stage with Kobe Bryant. Now, you know him, right? Pretty much one of the best basketball players of all time. I'd say close to Michael Jordan, right? You probably think LeBron, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I, I literally was almost this close to being on stage with him. The only reason why I wasn't is because they didn't have any uh, availability. Like, literally, they didn't have availability. If they did, I would have been right next to Kobe Bryant while he was keynoting on stage at Relentless. Now, you're probably thinking, probably a lie, so I'm gonna go ahead and show some screenshots. Um, but you're thinking, like, how in the world is a 21 year old, one of the youngest speakers that would be at the event, speak next to Kobe Bryant, right? I'm gonna tell you after I make this shot, if I make this shot. If not, you don't get it here. All right, that's it. I'm just kidding. Uh, so the way that I did it is basically leverage, right? My business, Influencer Press, we're all about leverage. We all, like we do strategic media placement, right? We get people on Forbes, Inc, Entrepreneur, the big magazines, right? TV, all that type of stuff. Um, and because we do that, we know how to utilize leverage, right? Um, now, obviously I'm not telling you exactly how I did it, but the way that I did do it is I had something that the event owner wanted or would potentially like, and because I didn't hit him up sooner, I couldn't lock it in, right? Because it was already full. But if I did do it at a certain, at a certain time, I just got to it late, right? But if I did do it on time, I would have been a speaker at the event. Now listen to this. I pitched more than, because we're barely testing out our speaker system, right? I pitched 10 speaking events, and out of those 10, I've gotten um, accepted to eight. Two of them I got declined, one because it was full, the other one because I just wasn't a good fit, right? But eight out of 10, as a 21 year old, I'd say that's pretty good odds, right? And the way that I do that is I literally have leverage um, that most people don't have in business. Now what does that mean, right? I keep saying that leverage, leverage, leverage. The way that I do it is, look, I run a press company, right? Everybody that has events wants press for the event. Now, my biggest hurdle is not getting to become a speaker because I have a lot of highlight reels and all that type of stuff, right? I personally think I'm a badass. But the way that the only hurdle is finding the right events and contacting them before they fill up, right? That's the only hurdle that I have. Now, for those of you who want to know how you can do that, the first thing that you need to do is build some type of leverage like that, right? And it's the easiest thing to do. You can become a contributor to some of these publications, some of them that don't even require you to have a lot of like a big resume or guidelines, right? And if you click the link, I'll go ahead and I'll give you some free resources so you can become a contributor and you can leverage that to your advantage. Thank you for watching.